Good afternoon everyone, I'm Martin Sinclair, a professional coach and relationship expert. Today, I'd like to take the time to talk to you about 10 ways to cultivate emotional intimacy in your relationship. We all know that relationships are complex, and cultivating and maintaining emotional intimacy with our partners can be a challenge. But with the right strategies, it can be done. 1. Start by sharing your feelings and thoughts with your partner. This is a great way to start building trust and understanding, as it can help you both come to terms with your own emotions and those of your partner. 2. Make time for each other. Whether it's a weekly date night or a daily check-in, setting aside time for just the tea. What if you can give you the opportunity to reconnect and get back in touch with each other? 3. Be open and honest with each other. Be willing to share your feelings and thoughts, even if it's something that may make you uncomfortable. Honesty is key to building emotional intimacy. 4. Make sure to listen to each other. Active listening can go a long way in help. ING you to understand your partner and their feelings. 5. Establish boundaries. It's important to make sure that both partners are comfortable with the level of intimacy they're sharing. 6. Show appreciation. Take the time to thank your partner for the things they do for you and let them know how much you appreciate them. 7. Spend quality time together. Doi. Ing activities together can help to strengthen your bond and deepen your connection. 8. Show affection. Physical touch can be a great way to express your love and commitment to each other. 9. Communicate openly and honestly. Talking to each other about your wants, needs, and desires can help to create a deeper understanding between you both. 10. Be patient. Building emotional intimacy takes time, so don't be too hard on yourself or your partner. By following these tips, you can cultivate the emotional intimacy in your relationship that will make it stronger and more fulfilling. Thank you for listening and I hope you found this speech helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and advice.